2.2. This is probably one of the biggest updates ever. But what if I say you can already download it? But with one problem, it needs to type a password. Because Rocktop published the 2.2 beta on Steam and we'll be talking about that and who can get access to that. And what remains to Rocktop before releasing the 2.2 update. So let's get started. Okay, let's start from the aim you clicked on that video. If we get into a site called steamdb.info and type jomt dash, we could see that the latest update was 7 days ago. But what's the update? If we click on the pods and then scroll down to branches, we see a beta which was published 10 days ago and public. But what about the beta? What does it mean? It means that 2.2 beta will be closer than the October release of 2.2 which was surely logical. But who can get access to that beta? I think we've got many predictions and of course the first is the developers or even the typical testers. It could be the Robbed of friends like Weeprin and the Nazis, or even his wife, if it's not fake. But the reason that beta was published is probably for the community, and uh, let's take into that. Okay, the second is the most popular YouTubers, the greatest creators, the skillest players in the world. More rarely than the typical players, cause only the greatest of the Geometry Dash community are the ones who's got opinion leaders and can give Rob Top advice how to make 2.2 much better than it's now. Might be the typical players also can get uh, 2.2 beta, but you know it's like uh, CS2. At the start the limited access could only get the famous YouTubers and skill players, but uh, now the beta access can get anyone who wants, cause uh, CS2 is so close. And I think it will be the same situation for the 2.2 update, cause now I consider it will be the limited access beta for a narrow range. My opinion is that this beta was created for fixing bugs, which I think Robtop has got a lot of, especially while he's making this update over 6 years. Because Robtop said in Discord that it's already done. And it remains to fix some bugs and other stuff that can badly affect the gameplay of Geometry Dash 2.2. What about the history of updates of Geometry Dash and Steam? We see the change list. But let's take into the change list uh, which was 10 days ago. And then to 7 days ago change list. Ok, I don't know anything about that but we see that Robtop published uh, the Geometry Dash 2.2 beta. And also we see the time when Robtop published it. And it was on the 20th. 23rd of August, which was 10 days after the 10th anniversary video. I don't know how to use that data, but I think uh, that's uh, encrypted hash, uh, but what I know, the 2.2 beta probably published at the most of the part, and you can download it. But with one big problem, you need to type the beta access code, which has only wrapped up. It's so unlikely that we can find hackers uh, that can hack this password, cause nowadays it's not the time when even Anaban could hack the Geometry Dash security and hack the Robtop account. Uh, but if it does happen, it will be so strange, cause I don't think that the strongest hackers in the world will be interested in that. We can see that the access to the 2.2 beta can be obtained with uh, Windows or Mac users, which I think can also play a significant role, cause if this beta will have been for only the Developers, I think it's unnecessary to even publish uh, that beta. So I hope that we are the typical players and eventually could get uh, this beta. Also we can see that in change list which uh, was 3 months ago, the game size is 160 megabytes. But in the beta change list we cannot see it. So we don't know how much this beta weighs, including the time of updating it. But uh, my opinion is it's less than 1 gigabyte. Cause we also have to see that this game is uh, almost for mobile users and it shouldn't wait too much. Before we take into the other one change list, uh, let's count the reasons why the 2.2 beta was published. The first reason is to test the Geometry Dash on different PCs. Robtop can see how well the game is optimized and it's obvious that Robtop has a powerful PC and he can test it on the hundreds of PCs that have different hardwares. But I think almost of us have only GTX 1050 or 1060 or even lower. And in this game we must play even better than in Minecraft. And if backwards, it will be a big problem for the game cause the optimization should be on the high level, especially for such big updates. So I think that 2.2 beta should be for all players uh, or it will be for a narrow range of audience. The second reason is the bugs and other issues. I think it's the same as I said for the first reason, it's to prevent all bugs and it will be more effective if Robtop got access to the beta for many players. Because because Robtop is only one developer or not, I don't know. And if we imagine that Robtop gets access to the 2.2 beta for many players, it will be much
much easier to fix in uh, bugs and other issues for Robtop. So we can merge all of these reasons into only one. Robtop needs to polish uh, that update. And it's a complex process, uh, so Robtop has to make it till October. So the other one change list update, also related to the 2.2. I don't know what that is, uh, but I think it's probably because Robtop updated this beta, I did some features and anything else. Or added much more security to that game or anything else that we don't know about. But you can ask a question. Can the mobile users get access to Z2.2 beta? I think it's probably not. But it's only my consideration, Geometry Dash was made in Cocos 2D engine, and for Robtop it's so hard to import uh, that game to different platforms. And if on the PC we have in bugs, on the Android and iOS we can have. But for Robtop it's much easier to test the mobile version of the game on an emulator, so I don't think that mobile users can get this beta. So let's summarize, we can predict it, and I think it could be only on Steam. Let's maybe check the messages that Robtop says about this beta. X Creator Goal asked, Robtop, I've seen a beta on Steam, and I am wondering if it's 2.2. Robtop answered, just input the key and you will see. And it means that we should type the password that could open the 2.2 beta for us. Then X Creator Goal said, what's the key? And Robtop ignored him. It's time to check messages that can confirm that 2.2 is ready and the beta will be for all players. Robtop said in his Discord that uh, I tested some more shader stuff, and uh, how I understood it that triggers, uh, but I thought uh, that's a shader cache, like in Call of Duty, but I hope this feature won't be in 2.2, cause it's so annoying. Robtop also said, still fixing shader bugs atmosphere, and I think this is one of the problems for Robtop, and it will be so silly to release a 2.2 update without open beta testing, because the game will be laggy and crash every time you launch, and if it does, it will be the update which could be failed. So Robtop can't let that happen, and he should make all that 100% ready. Also Robtop said that customizable shaders are cool source for effects, and then he showed a video with those effects. And also the new one video. Also Robtop wrote that he'll be making the tutorial for the 2.2 update in his Twitch account. All tutorials will be making the Geometry Dash moderators, which I think will be amazing. While I was watching these videos about the shader effects, I saw the new reset button, and the player has already asked about that. This is so clean, but what's the practice mode button doing? Robtop answered. In platformer mode, you press that button to restart the level from the start and clear all checkpoints. So if you wanna reset all your checkpoints in platformer mode, this feature would be useful. I don't know what secrets it keeps, but if I would get another news, I'll make a video. But if this video reaches enough activity to make it. And uh, thanks so much for watching this video.